The odometer, when we got it, had 375,000 miles on it. At the time we got it, the odometer was not working, so it's probably more than that. This is the project that I've been working on the entire summer and will continue to be working on. And the overall aim is to make a sustainable living space in a very small area that has nearly all the capabilities of a full-sized home. I've had a lot of problems trying to get insulation because we need 17 sheets, um, which is not a lot. So like big industrial companies won't even give you a quote. So I talked to multiple people on Craigslist. Two of them vanished. One of them sold the insulation after we'd agreed that I was gonna go pick it up the next day. And then finally this one guy was like, yeah, I'll deliver it to you for free. He was a few days late, uh, but he did, he did deliver as promised. Not the best summer ever so far, but we've gotten materials and construction is beginning now, so it's gonna be a lot more fun. What do you mean? What do you mean seven you, minutes? You mean like yeah, just try pounding it in. No. <laughs> Woo! Is it in? Yeah. They get, they get partial ownership of the bus along with the other, you know, 45 people that have helped. Um, I learned to weld this week, pretty much, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, so the, the biggest two things have been the completion of the, the solar and electrical system, which is our lithium ion Tesla battery. And then down here, we also have mostly completed the heating and cooling system, which uses radiant heat transfer to both heat and cool the occupants of the bus. But here we can see actually, even though it's pretty shady outside, we're still getting about 60 watts of charging power. Um, in really bright sunlight, we get about 1.3 kilowatts, which should um, satisfy our calculated energy demands. So right now, the engine is not in running condition, which seems to be the case about, I don't know, 40% of the time. But it, it's the cooling fan assembly that's been like extremely challenging to work on. Um, because the internals of the fan clutch and the fan hub are very complicated, very heavy duty stuff. So to give an example, like to remove the shaft from the two bearings took about five to seven tons of force just to get it to slide out. Yeah. I've learned a lot about various things that I didn't think I would. And I think most importantly is I've learned how to do practical engineering. So for example, I worked at an internship this past summer at an electric vehicle startup. And I would say roughly 90% to 85% of the skills that I used were skills that I have honed working on the bus, right? I was constructing something physical instead of sort of doing um, abstract analyses, yeah. Uh, a few days ago, I graduated from Princeton University as a mechanical engineering student uh, in the class of 2019. I did not expect the project to initially take two and a half years. I believe my first estimates were, I think, three to four months, maybe five. To give you an idea of some of the things that had to be done, we had to design and manufacture a custom printed circuit board um, to control, I believe it's a total of six pumps, five valves, four fans, um, along with a distributed temperature sensor network. Um, so that's been bench tested and it's about ready to be installed. So in the two and a half years that I've worked on the bus, I think the biggest lesson I've learned is to way overestimate both time and budget. I remember there's this quote from one of my engineering professors where he said, if you are extremely experienced at budgeting and predicting time, you should take your best conservative estimate, multiply it by two. He said, if you have done it a few times before and kind of have some idea, multiply it by three to five. Um, and he said, if it's your first time doing a large engineering project, multiply it by seven. <laughs> <laughs>